Today I'm going to show you how to program Range Rover Evoque 2016. So let's get started. You first have to look for the model Land Rover. Then you click on manual selection. Then you look for Range Rover Evoque. Then you select 2015 to 18 Smart Key. Click Yes. Control unit smart key writing. You click OK and you look for the diagram. Okay, you scroll. But before you start, you have to connect it in the unsecured connection, which I'm going to show you. So, this is the unsecured connection. You connect it this way first and then you check the locking status to see whether it is locked or unlocked. So that is what I'm going to do right now. You read the status of the chip. It's loading. Okay, now it's unlocked. So you read it in unsecured. Okay, you read the D flash first. Okay, finish, you click OK and then you save it. You can choose it to give it any name that you want. So my, I'm going to do it. Evoke. And I press save to save that file. I'll go back and read the EE prom file. So I'm doing this in unsecured connection because it's unlocked. So if you find out that it's locked, you have to connect the wires in secured mode and then read it in secured mode. Yes. So to connect it in the secured mode, you have to remove that two components, the resonator and the SMD capacitor, the T1 and the T2. And then you follow the connection according to the diagram. Okay, now I'm done. So I'm come to start reading the, the key to the file. So first of all, select the first D flash file. Which is this one. And I press OK. Then I select the EEPROM. So after that, you slot the smart key in the programmer. So now I'm going to delete the first key ID and then put that key over there. So I press delete, success, okay. So there's no key ID there. So I'll put the smart key in the programmer. Okay, this is the connection the unsecured connection that I did. I press add key. Press OK. So you're going to program the key to the file. OK, a dealer key is successfully created. So you click on escape and then you save the file click on yes to save the file so those are the two files over there so you look on the date that it's being saved okay so that is the date and you click ok so you have to write those two files back into the chip in the unsecured mode so that's what I'm doing right now.
you write the D flash first. So you have to be careful and look for the file that generated the last file that you created. So that is what I'm looking for right now. So you should be careful so that you won't write back the old file that you created. You have to write the new file that you generated the key in it to the chip. Okay, so this is my file. Then I press OK. So chip writing is in progress. Okay, writing the chip. Please have patience. Okay, now the D flash is has written successfully. So we write the E prompt. Okay, this is my file. Press OK. Then to write it back to the chip. Then you fix back the RFA or the KVM back to the car and then you test the key. Okay, succeeded. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.